Welcome back. We can't possibly have enough ways to keep the kiddos busy right now. And I know Todd has plenty of little bows floating around his house. So when I proposed this craft to him, he said, yes, let's do it. Let's show these people how to make a tutu bow holder. Bow holder. So what you need, glue gun, very good scissors, about three quarters yard of fabric, half yard of batting. That's optional. That's just kind of to fill the top part of it up. It's a little bit of felt is optional. Some wider ribbon, the gross grain ribbon that's really good is kind of nice. And one yard of skinny ribbon, cardboard or foam board, and any embellishments of your choice. So basically this is gonna hang up on the wall when everything is said and done, you'll be able to hook it on something. I sped up the process a little bit. So I happen to have some foam board already sitting around, but cardboard is gonna work well for this too. But let's start at the bidding, beginning. So what you do is you take a piece of white paper, if you want, or if you pull a piece of uh, uh, magazine, uh, page is gonna work fine too, but fold it the long way. And then what you're gonna do is kind of make a U and then make the bodice, the outline of the bodice. So when you open this up and cut it, you are actually going to end up with the top of your tutu. Okay, there you go. There's gonna be the top part, the bodice part, the silhouette. So then I laid this down. This is actually going to be your pattern. I laid this down on my foam board that I happen to have. Once again, cardboard works well. You're going to want to cut out two of them to make this really sturdy. And then what you're going to want to do is take your hot glue gun and then just hot glue these together. So this is something you can have for a long time if you make it strong enough. So we're going to hot glue that together. Then I'm going to take my pattern. I had some fabric already sitting around the house. You can actually use an old shirt or something like that if you want to. I laid this down on my fabric. I traced it out. So eventually this will be what covers our little cardboard that we have here, a foam board. But underneath this, that's where that awesome other little filler comes in. So if you wanna go ahead and put your batting down. So you'd glue down your batting. Let's lay down some glue. This fits perfectly over the top of this. We're gonna cover that up. It just makes it a little bit thicker and a little fluffier, if you will, okay? And then what you'll do is go ahead and you can glue down your fabric, but here's the deal. Around the outside of your fabric, so you can get to fold nicely around the outside of that bodice, you're gonna wanna go ahead and fringe it every so often so you can kind of work with the fabric a little bit better. Better. So basically what's gonna work better for this, I think even hairspray is a nice option to kind of get this to stay in place. But you can use spray glue if you happen to have it. I don't know how many of you happen to have spray glue but you'd lay that around the top of it. And you want enough, maybe about an inch, inch and a half, so it can actually fold around the corners and the outside of it. But once again, having that fringed fabric is gonna be so important, so you can work with and actually get it to fold it down nicely. How it looks at the bottom doesn't really matter, you guys, because you're gonna cover this up. So let's kind of speed up this process a little bit. When all is said and done, Felt is kind of nice if you care how the back of it looks, but since it's up on the wall, that's not really gonna matter. So don't focus so much if you don't have a piece of felt to cut out and put on the back. That's more if you're gonna sell something like this, you want it to kind of look a little bit more sharp and finished, if you will. As far as the tutu, now you can actually order tool online. So if you're worried that I can't get to the store, I can't get this tooling that you're talking about, order it online. So what I did is I laid the tool out the long way. I folded it twice so it gave me a little bit thicker tooling. Kind of rolled it up in a tube type setting and then I just tied it at the top. So then what you're gonna have to uh, go ahead and do, so nice and tight, once this is folded down, you're gonna go ahead and start placing these little tutus down along the bottom, okay? And you're gonna wanna go and actually cut it so it's not too long, you guys, because you want it to be nice and fluffy like a tutu. So I'd probably go through and actually cut this one down a little bit. So just keep placing these down along the bottom, like that. Let's say we have these all along the bottom. Then to actually hold the bows on, you want this, this is what's gonna hold your bows in place. You're gonna wanna go ahead and, and put that down along the front. You're gonna glue it there on the front of your tutu. So it's gonna lay kind of like that. So it'll lay nice and long on the wall. On the top part, to cover up this mess right here, you could lay more ribbon across the top if you wanted to cover that up. I happen to have this really pretty ribbon that had these little flowers. That can go nicely across the middle there, if you will. Kind of something like this. You can crisscross ribbon at the top to add more bows if you want. Let's go ahead and put the final project back up there. 
Look at that, you guys, so many different options with this. So we'll make sure to get this on our Fox 17 Morning Mix Pinterest page. Once again, you can get the tooling online. Have fun with that one.